Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2, back on the East Yorkshire series today where I have just been calculating the feasibility of a single uh, express line, a bi-directional express line. Turns out it's not a great idea, I mean let's face it, it is a brilliant idea, but the way that we've got the track done here, it would work, but if you look at the speed limits there, if I open that up, the uh, the speed across onto the stopping line is only a measly 50 mile an hour, which meant if I was going to put another crossover in there, our eastbound, no, westbound express trains, i.e. going the same way as this class 60 here, would have to slow down to 54, which sort of begs the question why we're we bothering in the first place, whereas this line here, it can just sail through at 75. So it makes sense to leave it like that. Uh, the same again at the other side, it would have to come down to 45 miles an hour. Uh, now since that, we've, since that we've, since we've got rid of uh, a lot of the freight trains, you can see the freight trains just over here. Why are you stopped? You could do with the signal over here, I think. Uh, right, hang on. Where are we? Uh, three signal there, lovely. Excellent, bob that in. Come on, off you go. Hang on, there's a signal here. Oh no, it's underneath. Whoa, that is a lot of lag. Why are we lagging so much, everybody? Why are we lagging? Come on, you go. I, I think it's because we're getting to that stage of the game, aren't we? I did the whole fly around the map, uh, loading it in, etc. But it, it doesn't seem to have... Uh, seems to be just having a moment. Uh, but yeah, so... Now that there's less freight going through here, I mean, we've got another northern just plodding in there. Uh, nothing behind it by the looks of things. No, that's good. We've got another northern there overtaking another freight. I think this four track business is working pretty well. I'm happy with that. Um, got another express train there. It really does seem to have sort of, what's the word, diluted the amount of traffic that we've got there, which is really good. It's really positive as that. I mean, that's going to go sailing through. Look at that. 75 mile an hour. Lovely. People have been uh, been asking for 185s running up and down here. I appreciate that, and I would love uh, to have 185s running up and down, but the 185 model is absolutely terrible. So, uh, yeah, it's not good, it doesn't sound good, it doesn't look good, so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be using that on this series. Now, uh, what we are going to be doing is uh, having a look at our freight. Uh, a couple of people have mentioned about the oil, making sure that we are using all of the oil. Uh, that's actually not shipping completely, you know, it's not shipping as much as it could be, which is interesting, isn't it? Uh, what about down here? We, uh, I mean, that's, whoa, that is a lot of oil waiting. Again, not shipping as much as we could, so if we have more trains, hmm, yeah, you see, I could put another train on there, that's, that's obviously a full load, let's, let's make another train and see how it gets on. The problem is, is it just, it doesn't seem to use as much as it, you know, like when you put another train on it, doesn't, not as much seems to go as it could. Admittedly, this station, being a single platform, is uh, is not very efficient. Same as up here, if I, uh, there we go, we've got one coming in now. That's going to take 300, we've got 500 waiting for goodness sake. Right. So if I clone another one of you... Look at that. I quite like how there's a second platform there, yeah. I, I can't remember doing that, actually. Did I put a platform in and then delete it? Yeah, I must have done for these uh, these storage buildings. But it, it looks like, you know, we used to have track down there and it's disused. Particularly with all the grass growing in there, it really does just sort of look derelict, doesn't it? Right, so you're there. I mean, this is, this is going up at a hell of a rate of knots. Hopefully this shipment will increase, because we're actually only shipping half of what we could. So if we can ship more of that, then we'll be able to produce more of what we're producing from here. What is this? That goes to the uh, the oil refinery, doesn't it? See, we've only... yeah. Off you go. Come on. Pop off. Get another train in. So this is on the single line all the way up here. Where's the next train? Oh, okay, there's a grain train there. There isn't another train for a little bit. Oh, there's one there. Right, okie dokie. You could argue the point that this might be a bit more efficient with two tracks. Are we really going to have that many trains? You see, the problem is more freight trains. See, these these obviously go on the underpass, don't they, the freights? Oh, that's full. Flipping heck. There's a lot of tools on there. Are we, uh, are we shipping enough tools from here? Hull tools? Yeah, seem to be. 
Wow. That's a little bit heritage, isn't it? Right, how much grain has that got on? 120. Right, that seems to just be... Right, we'll replace that. Uh, right, diesel. I reckon that we could have something a little bit different. For such a small line, what about the... Uh, the, the uh, right, where are we now? Don't tell me it's gone. I was going to say we could have a class 20. I can't find it. 56, 56. Yeah, there's no class 20s here, is there? Um, it would appear not. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Maybe it's, uh, you see, there's a 26, 31, 37. What are the 31s doing? Uh, you see, there's... I don't know, there's EWS. What is that? Is that a 31? Let's double check. Oh, it's a class 25. Wow. Should we? Uh, I think the thir does the 31 not crash the game? Have we not established this before? Right, we, I'm a little bit sceptical. I don't want to crash the game. That only comes in BR blue. Do you know what? Let's let's just go for the... Right, we'll have a Colas. That can be Colas. Uh, cargo on there. We need the grain. Do you know what? I'm going to use the... Uh, not that one. Any cargo type. Grain. Ooh. Right, it's going to be those again. We have... Uh, oh, we'll just go with... Plane. That'll do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll go for 200 so it can carry more. I'm not imagining for one second that this is going to be full. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Just a little coal last train. A diddy one. Yeah, it's sort of got to the stage of the game where we're not building massive infrastructure projects. I mean, I know we did last time, but... Uh, oh, right, hang on. So this is just leaving... Which means he's just about to arrive. Setting this argument up for uh, for double track again. Right, don't tell me. Ah, right, he's going to wait. That's excellent. Because let's face it, this train is probably going to earn more money. So then as soon as this chap's gone, that chap can carry on moving. We've got another... Oh, we've got another one behind. Right, this isn't efficient. Right. Then what we're going to do, we're going to have to double track. How many have we got waiting there now? 182. Right, okay. We don't want it to be too efficient, mind. Right, what's the current speed on there? 35. Right, okay. Go with a bit of 30 coming around here. And again, what what are we? We're at 60 there. Lovely. Let's bring that up there. Lovely. Why are you not linking on? Right, tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll do a bit of that. Lovely. Right, signals there. Yeah, one-way signal. We'll have a bit of that there. Lovely. And a bit of that there. That is fantastic. Right, okay. So then, yeah, that works. That really does work, doesn't it? Right, you can carry on. We don't actually need... Uh, I was going to say we don't need a signal over this level crossing. We won't bother because traffic's not that much, is it? Now, you're going to carry you're going to carry 300 away from here, sir. I hope you are aware of that. It'd be nice if we could get them to fully load, wouldn't it, before they set off again. But I don't want there to be a backlog that interferes with the grain. Oh, look, you see, there's another one coming there. Right, how's that going to work? You see, these are all still... Shipment is still relatively round the middle bit. I don't really know how you can improve that. Go on, tech 300. Fill up. That's as good as... Oh, 299. Go on, one more. 300, lovely. So that can now obviously... I mean, this next train's clearly not going to have 300 on, is it? Actually, I don't know. It depends. They're, they're going to try to space themselves out, so it depends how long he sits there. Of which he is not. So if it can have a couple of hundred on, that's not bad. You see, there's another one coming, isn't there? And another one. Oh, no, he's going the other way. He's going the other way. That's fine. I guess they're not particularly evenly spaced, are they, after, uh, after my little building 
Escapade at Broomfleet. It has delayed quite a few of them, hasn't it? I mean, the good news is we're still making money. We've got no loan. I know that these this is obviously losing money because it's had the big journey back with nothing on. Yeah, you see, by the time this is, if I fast forward this, that's. I mean, it'll take a hundred, won't it? Maybe a hundred and fifty if uh, if the if the oil refinery is getting a bit sprightly. Yeah. Right, yeah, that's, that's, I mean, you can just stay there and carry on loading if you want, so I'm, uh, I'm perfectly happy with that. Just to space yourselves out, no, 130, better than nothing, isn't it? Right, we'll leave them to do their things, and if we pop down the other end, where's the, uh, it's down here, isn't it? No, it's not, it's on the island, it's on the island, there it is. So these are obviously dropping off, these are dropping off nothing, that's because that's not dropping off, right, okay. So, the Selby oil... How many can you carry? You can carry 200. Ah, you see, that's why we don't need more, because that is producing. That's at its absolute maximum. Right. So hang on, have we got more oil refineries on this map? Because if we look at that one, that's producing as much as it can as well. Which means that these are now probably not going to be running with 200. Yeah, these are all running. What's the one in front looking like? Oh, it's just dropping off. Yeah, you see, it's got 139. So have we got more oil refineries? Because if we do... Let's have a look. Let's go on here. Uh, consumers. Oh, right, we do. We've got the Ghoul. That's the Ghoul one. No, that's North Ferriby. There's an oil refinery at Ghoul. Because we could then take from there to, to there... Ah, you see, Hull Oil Refinery as well. Where's that? That's the fuel refinery. That's the whole oil refinery. Where's the Selby one? The North Ferriby. One there. And there's a Selby one there. Ooh. Yes. Right. Tell you what we'll do. We will. Uh, right. So we can use from there. What was that about major uh, engineering projects that I said? Uh, right. So. We'll have, we'll have a bit of that. Yeah, no catenary, because it'll be 66s, of course. Uh, right, there we go. We'll, uh, yeah. That'll do. High-speed rail. Just so it's nice and new. Nice and new looking. So I'm going to go there. Can hear the, uh, the, the things from the tram. Right. How are we going to get you over there? That is an interesting question. One that I would love to know the answer to. Uh, right, hang on. So we could... Could we go underneath this? No. It's not for having it, is it? I mean, we could go around like that. That's going to work, isn't it? Right. So 30. Could we have 40? We could. What about 50? No, that's asking a little bit much, is that? Right, we'll go with 40. And we'll add a... Right, can we... No, it's not letting us have that. There we go. Right, hang on. Now, are you going to let me do 50? You are. What about 60? Yes. Oh, right, okay. 70? No, 60 is all we're getting out of that. That's lovely. Right, we'll have a bit of that. And then we can actually have that coming out like that. Nope. There we go. Right, signals. Let's have a two-way signal. I realise I've done this as a single platform. It needs to be two, doesn't it? Two track. Because we're going to need something coming out of here, aren't we? Not just taking the uh, the oil in. Yeah, you see. And it's almost as if the map designer has done that specifically. So that we would have to use all four oil refineries. Clever. Very, very clever there. Right. Platforms. See, those people that think we're getting to the end of this map, it clearly goes to show that this map has a lot of life in it just yet, doesn't it? Right, so you're going to be... What are you going to be? We said 40, didn't we? Right, you can go around there. Yeah, what about 35? Yeah, you're having 35. That's probably not going to work, is it? Right, hang on. 30, yeah. 
30. No. Come on. Do it. Oh, I hate this game sometimes. Somebody mentioned about holding shift. And apparently it works. Or was it holding control? But when I hold control, it just spins the map round. Uh, hang on. What, what are we... What's this? Right. For some reason, we seem to have... Oh, what's this now? Good lord. Right. Yeah. Just do a bit of that. You see, if we have this junction too big, it's not going to fit the, the double track, is it? Right. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get rid of that. We'll have... Yeah. Catenary. No. Where's me? Oh, it's because I'm building track. I want signal. Right. One way. No. Right. We'll have that there. This can be single track. We'll get rid of the crossover and just have two single track lines. That'll do. Of which case, this definitely needs to be... Uh, right, hang on. How many trains do you reckon we should have down here? Right, so hang on. Train. Let's just send it to there and see what happens. Okay. Seems to work. Right, hang on. So if I go... Because I want you to ideally go this way. Up over the top, don't I? What's going to happen if I do that? And on the way back, you can go via this signal here. There we go. So they're going to come down here, down there, down the new section of line. Yeah, under the dive, under. Excellent. That's going to work really well. So this will be the uh, the ghoul. Right, hang on. Train. Ghoul crude oil. Interesting. Right, well that clearly needs a bit of work on this station here, doesn't it? So we can actually put that line, that derelict line, back in. Right, there we go, right. Put put you there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Interesting. Yeah, there we go, right, so. Pause for a second. Get rid of that. Yeah, lovely. Tracks 30 mile an hour all the way round. You can go into there, not that you're having it. Tell you what, we'll just double flip switch doodah that. Lovely, that'll do. And then we'll have a bit of uh, bit of 30 going over there, lovely. And another bit of 30 going over there. Excellent. Right, bit of signalling going in as well, just for a bit of good measure. Now, coming back to this, we will put the signals here, because we're going to be running more trains from different lines down here. So we'll, we'll stick another signal there. Stick another couple there, that'll do. Awesome. Right, okie dokie. So, this line here, have we got? No. Right, train, ghoul, crude oil. That needs to go into platform 2 at Driffield. Back over like that. Oh, it's the, uh, the freight liner colours, green and yellow. Well, the old colours. And just for a bit of colour difference, I think we should uh, we should have a bit of Freightliner running this. Right, hang on. Oh, diesel, any cargo type. Freightliner. Let's just have the... So not... Uh, should we go with Power Hall? Yeah, because we've got a lot of racing green, haven't we? So we'll have Power Hall there. Cargo. Go down for the... Uh, right, any cargo type. Oil. Crude oil. That's the one. BP. We'll go with BP. How many can these carry? 200. Oh, I had these carrying 300, didn't I? Right, we'll carry it 300. We'll go with 4 for now. Ghoul crude oil. Off you go. Oh, what's this? Oh, Solingen. Solingen. I don't know what that is. I don't remember agreeing to it. Oh, is that a Solaris Urbino trolleybus of some sort? Wow, look at that. Looking really good, actually, that, isn't it? Looks good with the BP tankers as well. Brings, uh, I mean, it really is two rivals, isn't it? Shell and BP. Or EWS, sorry. BP. And EWS and Freightliner. I say EWS and BP, I don't think they're really rivals, are they? But it really, I mean, that's got 300 aboard. This is now going to, I mean, look at that, already producing loads. So if we do that, we need to actually take from here to somewhere. So this here is producing quite a lot, but it's not producing enough. So we could actually, I mean, this will be done via, it doesn't need to be a train here, does it? He says after he put that platform in. 
It'll be fine. Right, so this is going to... Oh, wow, this road. It's almost as if I built it knowing that I'd need it. So we're going to get rid of that. Because we don't need it. There we go. Right, a bit more road. Into town road. Is that going to be the... Uh, that's going to be the right one, isn't it? Right, bring it round like that. Up over the top. There we go. Lovely. Oh, can we... Can we... Uh, if I just... There we go. Make it flat. That'll do. It's not the prettiest of bridges ever, is it? But when are they? When are they? Right, there we go. And now we'll attach that to... Right, that's going to be a difficult one, getting it round there. Never mind. Right, get you down to the ground. There we go. Right. How are we going to get you over there, then? Hmm. Wow. Tram whizzing along there. Look at that. Right. Uh, I mean, that could quite easily go across there, couldn't it? And does. Right, you can be uh, you can be bigger. Oh, no, you can't. Right, okay. Because there's a station in the way. <laughs> God's sake. Right. Build you there. Yeah, that'll do. Right, let's just have a level crossing. No, you're not for that. Right. Tell you what. I like how the trams just glide along. They sound good, don't they? Uh, right. How about a bit of that? Nope, not having it, are you? I just want a nice bridge. There we go, right. It's a bridge that doesn't have any supports at all, but we'll uh, we'll claim that it it yeah. Right, so that's going to go from there to there, taking crude oil. Excellent. Uh, right, buildings. Let's have a. Where are you? You're there. See, no, we're not going to do that, because the problem with those is you can't add bits and pieces onto them, can you, those ones? They're really, really nice. Good to look at. But, like I say, you... Oh, street deck. Lovely. Said nobody ever. Right, get you added on there. Couple of them. Couple of these little chaps around the front. Lovely. Oh, it's almost like we planned it. Right, we can't do anything with those. Right, so we're going to go new line. Yep, that's good. Good stuff. Bring it into there. So that will be truck. Broom fleet oil. So we're going with BP, aren't we, for our, our uh, provider there? So if we can get a BP tanker, that'd be fantastic. Uh, oh, hang on. This. Company brands. Come on, BP. Waha. How many can you carry? 52. I think we'll go with four then. They'll be running up and down, won't they? But, uh, right, truck, broom fleet, oil. Lovely. Right, get you going. Now, where is our first train? Has it got any sort of crude oil on it at all? Right, there's the grain. Grain mobile is there. 142s. Excellent. That's going. Lovely. Wow. Is that the first one of the four? Let's have a look. So we've got one, two, three. We've got another loco sat in there. I can hear it. Yes, it's there. So this is the first one of the four. So if we uh, if we whiz that in uh, high speed mode there. Hmm. Yeah, this is uh, this is another problem. Got a bit too much freight up here for my liking. I wonder if we could. Maybe put some sort of ghoul avoider. Well, we could put a ghoul avoider in if it wasn't for the fact that that's Beverly. We do seem to be stuck behind the uh, the stopping train there. It's causing a bit of congestion. There's another another fuel train right behind us. I wonder how many that's got on it. Has it got any at all? 73 out of 300, so this is really going to do well. These people are going to be furious here. I mean, if I go on the uh, on the noise situation, there really is quite a lot of noise uh, current around Beverly. This is probably going to put a lot of people off from living here, but it's an industrial powerhouse. It really is. 
And of course, there's a lot of trains. I hadn't actually factored how many trains we've got on this section of line, because we really do have quite a few, don't we? Yeah, maybe some sort of avoiding line there. I don't know, it's sort of getting to the point where the cities are expanding and not leaving us with an awful lot of options. That might be... I mean, that looks like it should have a railway running under it, doesn't it? We could do something without that. That might have to be next time. I'm looking and seeing that we're running out of time here. And you see, that's stopped again. Why have you stopped? Oh, because that's gone out in front. Again, coming back to this... That stopped. Oh no. Why is everything stopping? Why are you stopped? Oh you oh it was just a little bit of lag, right, okay. That's fine. I thought it's a bit not usual for everything to be stopped. So that's gonna go past there. Our trusty semaphore, and then of course this is gonna get the uh, the road. That is quite a long signal block though. I mean you've got another signal block there. Passenger trains sat waiting. Yeah, we, we could ideally... See, if we wanted to make this really efficient, we could just get rid of this junction here. We could have the passenger services going straight up here. The goods crossing over with it and going round. But then the goods trains going up here. Then there'd be literally no need for these two lines to interact. That might actually work out. That's been quite a good idea. I mean, yeah, you see, you're going to keep moving, which means that the... Passenger service can go. No, the goods train's getting the... Oh, yeah. Whoever's signalling this isn't very good, are they? Right, if we speed that up. Again, I reckon that the passenger train's going to be held. Yep, for this 66 to come past. People really don't like the Pendolinos. What did they ever do wrong? That's going past. Don't tell me there's another freight train. No, that's actually... I mean, that's like 45 minutes delayed now after sat waiting for the freight trains. So hopefully, we'll double check that this line's working fine. We're, uh, we're going to whiz along through Snaith. Nope, North Ferriby. It's a good job I know where all these towns and places are, isn't it? Whizzing along. Not a care in the world, look at that, except for the fact that that's just gone out in front. Never mind, it's what happens with freight trains. They're just a bit slower, aren't they? Right, we could maybe do with... You see... I don't want to block the junction, that's the problem. So if we... Yeah, that's about as... Yeah, I don't want a signal block before there, do I? This is going over the top again. Oh, there's another... Another bit of... Yeah, the freight is very congested. Passengers flowing like nobody's business, but the freight... Very, very congested. Just one of them, isn't it? I think freight... It's never going to be quick, is it, really? Oh, don't tell me that I've messed all this up. Yeah, another two trains to go there. There we go, that's flowing. Oh, this is going to keep flowing as well. Right, okay, that's fine. Just a temporary blip we'll go with. Come on, let's see you drop off. Now this is going to cause a problem, isn't it, when all these trains arrive at once. But that's fine, because it'll allow a bit of space and it'll cause a bit of congestion, but it's fine. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I do hope you've enjoyed that. If you've got any great ideas, do let me know in the comments section below. Um, yeah, I think we're doing pretty well, to be honest with you. I mean, if we go back up to here... I mean, that is, look at that, the uh, the North Ferribit, the Ghoul crude oil is going absolutely mental, so we're going to have another two trains on there. Why not? Um, yeah, do let me know what you think in the comments section below. Those are all producing a hell of a lot more, which is excellent. Uh, hopefully we're not going to suffer, uh, this Ferribit crude oil business isn't going to suffer at the hands of our new one, but that really does have a lot more demand. So, uh, yeah. Do us a favour, click that like button, it's always appreciated. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so that you never miss out on any future Transport Fever 2 episodes. Things seem to be flowing. I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. Yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.